Hey guys, this is Jen from Scanica Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Okay, I brought in a file that's actually been made in Scout, and frequently this happens um, where it looks like nothing's there or something's wrong with the file. The only thing that happens is the lines <coughs> disappear. So you come in here and you choose that, and that fixes it. But what I want to discuss, what this is going to be about, is how to take an FCM and change it back in to an SVG. For a long time, um, people have only been able to use um, that uh, converter that they charge money for after your first 10. Forget about that. You don't need it. Just do this. Okay. So I am unticking the show matte image. I've also moved this out um, up from the edge. Okay. I have everything separated. You want to separate things. Do not have them stacked up. Do not have them next to each other and separate the colors. Okay. Because when you trace or when you save this, it is going to be that you will need a trace to then change it back to an SVG using Inkscape. Okay, so I pulled this in, clicked View, took Show Matte Image, this was ticked, I came in here, I untick it. So that gives us this. I'm using a Windows computer, so I have, oops, that's not what I want, I have the Screen Snip tool. Okay, that's available to you in your uh, Windows, you know, that little window thing you have down in the lower left. Click that. It's in your administration tools. So I do this. Well, when you do that, then you come here to the little floppy disk. That'll bring up your folder structure. And then let's save this. F-ball leases. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And then I just lower it because I use that an awful lot. Okay, so now let's head to Inkscape. Let's bring in our file. Open. Oh, let's go find it. F ball laces. F ball, F ball, F ball. Oh, right here we go. Okay, so this comes in as a PNG. Oh, I can't stand it when it does this. Drives me nutty. Okay. And you can see it's all blurry. It's pixelated because it's a PNG file. Oh, edit, select all. Okay. We're going to come over here. Click Live Preview. And let's start bumping this up. Oh, don't want that one. So let's click OK. Let's move one down. Nope, that's not very good. So let's click on this one and delete it because that looked like junk. Okay, let's reset and try again. Try to get it as close as we can. Oh, I know what's wrong. There we go. Sometimes I'll do a multi trace. And then I'll go about doing some exclusions and duplications to try to get these laces to look these to look like this. Because as you see, it's just a huge mess right now. Now 
And this is, and I'm not, you know, trying to push it, but this is where Scal really, really excels. <laughs> Okay. Two. Nope. Mm, much better. But this is the process that you're going to go through to try to get the best trace. And as you see, it's not very easy to do before uh, Scal did a lot of the updates we had great difficulties getting good traces but now it's just so much better but anyways let's just go ahead and pop something out because we need to get busy okay so there's one it's not too awfully bad so let's get rid of this main image here the original so this is what we have now so now when we go and we do a save as, let's bring it back into, oops, edit, let's do a select all and delete because that was our FCM file. Now we have our SVG back. Oops, let's go back into our place where we just saved it. I tell you. Mm, right here. Come on. Oh, nope, that's the PNG. We don't want that one. <sighs> nope, right here it is. Right beside it. And that's why when you're doing this, oh, let's turn on our matte image. It's really important to save them separately so that you can separate them easily when you're in Inkscape. Okay, so that doesn't look too awfully bad, but there you go. There's your SVG that you created from an FCM. You took it out. You took it into Inkscape being a PNG image. Okay, so you took it from an FCM, you did your screen snip, which made it a PNG, then you took it into Inkscape, you did your trace. When you do your trace and you save it, that turns it into an SVG. All right, guys, if you have any questions at all, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhelp on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.